Good morning, you absolute legends. It is uh, Friday morning here in Melbourne. I am heading over to pick up a car that we're driving over to Perth. So we've actually managed to get hold of a car. And uh, the good sir who's giving us the car is actually gonna give us a fuel card. So, um, and he hasn't asked for any sponsorship or anything. He's just done it out of the goodness of his heart for Ryan. So yeah, I don't have to drive my own car over to Perth, which is awesome. I can just leave it here and um, that'll be cool. Talking about cars, this car has been sitting at the front of my house for about a week and we don't even, I think it's broken down. So we're at Essendon Airport again. Rhino's just rocked up. Rhino's actually teed up this car that we're gonna be taking over to Perth for Abdullah so that he can do his, uh, his documentary in the car. But um, good work, Rhino. How you feeling today? Rhino had a 3 a.m. massive night out last night. How'd you feel? I feel wonderful. And you know those, those bloody little tablets we were talking about? Well, they work. So You feel, you feel all right? Yeah, I feel great. So we're here at uh, Ozjet, and this is Paul. So he's the uh, he's the man that's going to be loaning us the Nissan Patrol. Yep. So mate, very much appreciate. No problems at all. That's awesome. Happy to help. Pretty excited. We saw it getting branded out the front. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. it. That's sick. <laughs> so it's your business, Paul. It's uh, oh, there's a few of us. Yeah. And okay. um, we've known Ryan for a few years now, and uh, he's become a good friend, and yeah. we're uh, we're happy to support him in this event. Awesome, yeah. mate. Good on you. So, We've just got the, the big thing for us is we've just got the uh, Boeing 747-400 on the air I operator certificate. No. Global I super tanker. Just for really? So there's two air operator certificates in the country with Where is 747. It? It's in Colorado Springs. Yeah. There's Qantas and us. And, uh, nice. and we're, the, uh, we're the unique special bunch here that have a 747 agricultural operation. <laughs> Thanks, bro. So you're a fixed wing pilot, Sam? Yes, I am. Yeah. Okay, so which ones do you fly? Uh, most of the fleet. Uh, we've got the Conquest, uh, the 402s there, the Titan, and um, right down to the little 206. The now 26. this this awesome weapon over here, who flies that? <laughs> uh, so we've got uh, very, Penelope, very, <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, so Chief Pilot uh, Penelope, she flies that as well. Does she? Yep, and uh, we've been very lucky to have uh, some of the, the ex-Chief Pilot for uh, ANSET. Uh, flying with us on that really? one as well. Really? Yeah. Okay. How often do you get it up? Uh, so most Sundays we do a flight down to King Island. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they have uh, organised a lunch down there. Yeah. At the, uh, at the dairy and a few tours around. Awesome, man. And come man. back in the afternoon. Do you ever worry about it just falling out of the sky because it's so old? No, it's maintained by our engineers. So Is uh, it? Yeah, we um, put a lot of faith in them and uh, they're wonderful. Okay. People, so, awesome. you know, they maintain it to a very good standard. It's a sick looking plane. Yeah, it is very well. Have we're a look at it. We're in the hangar. Look at Have this. a look at this. This is a Global Express. So, you know the G4 and the G5 I was telling you about? Yeah. This is the rival, but it's a beast. You know what Kanye keeps on rapping about? Puff Daddy's about his Global. Yeah. We need big hats, bro. Go check on. this out. Hey, check this out. Oh, do you want to see the Ferrari that Paul wanted to put you in instead of the bloody 4x4? This is an XRS. So Mate, have a look at this range. thing. It is a weapon. Have a look at all these other little planes. There's a Tesla here. Yeah, the new one. It's a Tesla. It's the new four drive Tesla. You're kidding? <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> so the toys. It's, a, it's a customer's um, vehicle. Is it? You just got it. Wow. So that's a Tesla. New four drive one. Oh my Main goodness. Special. No way. Apparently it's got really cool doors. Yeah, they open up. Like, yeah. Yeah. So it... <laughs> yeah, awesome. Yeah, really cool. <laughs> 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 it's the back one. Oh, it's the back one. Cool story, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the back one, the back one. Yeah, no, I'll just show you again. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Oh, that's like the SLS, the gold. Now, I don't know how you get in. <laughs> Do you lift it up? Oh, six, I, I don't know. It's the first time I've touched it. <laughs> Michael yeah. might get angry with me. Yeah, he's yeah. got your fingerprints on it. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. He's probably scanning the fingerprints. Oh, there you go. I'll have to double tap mine. To triple tap. <laughs> tap it again. Give it three taps for good luck. Little oh, there's a button. Oh, there's a button. Well <laughs> oh, done, mate. We'll just get some stickers on. How is this thing? So this is Andrew's weapon. Who's whose weapon is this? Andrew. Okay, he's one of the he's, one of the he's pilots. The managing director. Okay, yeah. mate. He's got one um, of the pilots, mate. <laughs> <laughs> mate, give me Wrong the company. keys. <laughs> give me the keys. I'll take it. Hold it. Oh, listen to that, mate. <laughs> it's got everything. It's got race mode, sport mode. Holy sh! I better get out of it. In Utah, just have to put one foot on the brake. Yeah. One foot on the accelerator. Yeah. Just give it a little squirt. No way! <laughs> that is so sick! I'm getting out of this thing before I break it. I've never... You know what? I've had two things that have happened this week. I've flown in a jet, a Gulfstream, and I've sat in a Ferrari, and I've never ever sat in the driver's seat of a Ferrari before. So, this is unbelievable. This is a Robinson R22. What's the camera for? Traffic network, ah. Oh. So the traffic reporting on the um, on the TVs you see in the oh, morning. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. It's got that big ass camera on the front. <laughs> yeah. So you'll see our helicopters have all got uh, cameras. We've, we've won the contract for the ABC okay. nationally to oh, put a really? helicopter in every state. Oh, really? Um, yeah. Awesome. So uh, they're all getting fitted out with the final fit out now. Yeah. You'll see that in a minute. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> so this is our Nullarbor drive across the uh, Australia Beast. Hanny and I will be driving this little weapon thanks to uh, the good human over here. Mate, what a legend. He's even given us two fuel cards. But uh, the Ausjet, uh, Nis is Nissan Patrol, isn't it? it? Yeah, okay. So we're gonna be driving this bad boy. And we've got this for added safety. It's a manual. So I've got to teach Hannah how to drive a manual yet. But um, this, should be, uh, this should save us. Um, Paul was just telling me that when we come into Melbourne and Sydney, they've got a helicopter fleet as you're, as you've already seen in the engineering. Paul's going to get a helicopter in the air as we're coming into Melbourne to get yep. some footage of us coming into Melbourne. How awesome, mate. And same into Sydney. Yep. <laughs> that is incredible. So I think it's going to be that blue helicopter that you saw inside. We'll see. This will be sick. So I'm over in South Melbourne now. I'm with Ashley, mate. Um, thank you so much. He's, you know what he's done? He's gone and got me. He knows I'm doing my five-day trip over to uh, to Perth in the car. So he's got me some beers, some A block, uh, R block, or A block, R block, R block beers, and some mineral water to take with us. And I'm going to be drinking them on the Nullarbor. So Ben is loaning me a Garmin E-Trex, and I'm going to give him my 510. And um, the E-Trex is better for this sort of expedition stuff. So here he is here. Hey, uh, How are you, legend? Good man. How's yeah, things? Where did you come from? Uh, city. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, my tea today. So. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So we're gonna chill out. We're gonna have a coffee. You want a coffee? Yeah. Right. So young Ben has come up with the goods. Now let me talk to you about garments for the for the. Uh, for the Indy Pack, right? Something like this is not appropriate because you, it, they run out of battery really quickly. This is probably more appropriate because it's the runs out of battery less. It takes double A batteries. You can easily get them at any service station. And they're so much more reliable. There's no touch screen. So when you sweat and stuff on them, they just don't do crazy things. And they just last a long time. Do you know, don't they, yeah. Ben? So this is it, the Garmin E-Trex 30. This is more of a hiking thing, but this is what Jesse Carson uses. So this is what I'm gonna use. So we've moved inside. We were sitting out the front there, but it was way too noisy. So we moved inside. But we're gonna ask Ben a few questions about how the hell do I get across the Nullarbor? Because he's done it recently. 
Ben also has a pacemaker. Can yeah. I share this with the humans? Yeah, absolutely. Ben's got a pacemaker, so he raised money for the Royal Children's Hospital, and uh, which is pretty incredible, really. It's a scary, scary ride, but I think it's all mental. Like for me, it was because I mean, my longest ride before the trip was 80 k's long on the bike I was supposed to use. I did everything you shouldn't do when you're doing a long ride. Didn't use my own saddle. Didn't use my own setup. Um, didn't properly try any of my gear, just got caught up trying to do all the fundraising that didn't actually do the training properly. And what it proved to me was, yeah, you can have, if you've got a base level of fitness and you've got the determination, you can do it. You just got to get past that mental hurdle. It's, it's not very well traveled that area, so with even less cars now. When in the you, you're a cyclist, you're going a lot slower than the traffic. So many people going past you. Yeah, and it's just it's amazing, and no one's gonna just leave you behind. Yeah. Like, I don't know how many times I waved thank you for people giving me a wide girth. Really? And it, oh, there. a wide girth or a wide berth? <laughs> Both. <laughs> no, they're really lovely guys. Like, no one's trying to kill you. I mean, the caravanners sometimes forget how long they are, but they're not doing it on purpose. And I've waved saying thanks to people, and they've come back, done U turns to make sure I was okay, thinking I was calling up for help. And it's just like, that just took me by surprise. I felt bad sometimes, but I was just like, you get, you realize you're actually not alone. People are there to help. They're not gonna say, oh, fuck a cyclist. He can, he can wither and die. No, they're gonna, they'll stop, make sure you're okay. If you need water, they'll give you water. You know, you just don't see that in the cities anymore. And it just, it's really, you know what it is? It's cracking humans. Yeah, exactly. It's absolutely cracking humans. So what tips would you have for me uh, on this stretch of road? You've done it. Yeah. What would you say to me now? Time management and organization is like a massive thing you need to get under control. Um, if you get your times right for each roadhouse, you're not gonna have to stress too much about if you're gonna get water or food and this and that. But I mean, cause everything's on a tight schedule there. You've got to ride over 200 Ks at times to get to the next roadhouse. And, I mean, yeah, that's probably the biggest tip. Okay, time management. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what about water? Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Everyone says that. Water, water, water. Yeah, it's big. Uh, but don't carry a 10 litre bladder with you or anything like that. Really? Yeah, really. It just slows you down and makes you use up more water than you're going to drink. You know. You try to strap them onto your bike full yet? No. Yeah, do that first. Because I had a 6 litre bladder and it was just. It just went from side to side, completely messed up the handling, made me use a lot more energy to get up hills, control my bike. When you hit speeds going downhill, it gets really bloody scary. I mean, I never used it as well. I had five 800 ml water bottles. Five? Four, yeah, so four liters of water on me. Never finished all of them. Well, I've only got two one liter bottles. So you got two liters, you got halfway there. If you had, a, so that's why the three liter water bottles, or three liter ladders, They'll be better because they, you might be able to pack them a bit better, um, and they'll add on to. So you'll have like what, um, eight liters of water. If my maths right. Mm. So that'll be plenty, um, and then you can you can ditch them again when you get to Adelaide. But if you have one massive bladder like ten liters, you've got to think how you're going to carry that. Where you're going to store it? How's mm. it going to affect your bike? Mm. So I had a a bivy, Kathmandu bivy, and I had a Soul Skate bivy which was kind of like a small sleeping bag. And then I had a silk liner yeah. and a down jacket. And that was pretty lightweight. I think that came to like just under a kilo altogether. Yeah. Yeah. And so you kind of, I mean, I wasn't really doing lightweight, but it still, it was, it was, it was good. Like okay. you got a bit of condensation, but you kept warm. Um, I did have a tent, but there's just, you can't do tents in WA. It's too much gravel and sand, and it's just difficult to find a, a nice place to, set up a tent, whereas a bivy you can just throw it down, roll up in the morning and push off. Okay. Bet you a beer that when you get to the 90 mile straight on the Nullarbor, you'll find that the harder section on the Nullarbor, it's just, it's so dead straight, it just mirages out into blue and just reflects everything. Yeah. You can't see an end yeah. and you just have all these little trees all the way down and they turn into a forest at the end. So you think you're running towards this gorgeous forest with shade and everything, but it never comes. It's just little trees that build up in the horizon. It's really weird. All right, yeah. Ben, well, well, thank you for your time. Oh, my pleasure. You're an absolute legend. <laughs> and um, we'll catch up when I get back. Yeah, most definitely.
599 Ferrari. So put your foot on the brake. Yeah. So you don't go flying through the wall. Oh, God. Imagine I did that. 